we are here for part three of the hydroponics um, vertical raining tower. Um, what you're going to need in this video, you're going to need a cap. It's a six inch cap. Um, you're going to need a screw in washout cap. All you're going to need is just a cap, not the thing that it screws into. Just a cap. You'll know more about that here in a little bit. You're going to need at least a five foot piece of um, half inch uh, PVC pipe. You're going to need an elbow, which is a half inch, three quarter inch threaded on, on the three quarter inch. And then you're going to need a three quarter to a half um, fitting. You find this in the irrigation part, which these two are going together. Um, also, you're going to need a cutoff switch right here. You're going to need a 90 degree elbow. And you're going to need some plastic pipe, flimsy, you know, pipe, whatever you want to use. If you want to use something harder. It's just easier to work with. Um, so, the tools you're in plus you're going to need a cap, a half inch cap. Okay? Now, um, we're going to set that aside for now. You're going to need a pump. This is a 211 gallon per hour pump, which is way too much. So, that's the reason why I want the adjustment. Um, you're going to need a drill, you're going to need a three-quarter um, butterfly drill bit, you're going to need a, a five-eighths, you're going to need a regular, let's see what this is, um, well, quarter, I think it's a quarter quarter inch um, drill bit and two quarter inch um, bolts that are threaded all the way up to the head um, this is two two and a half couldn't find any two so I bought the two and a half you're gonna need six six um, nuts that are and some washers um, you're gonna need something to tighten it with you're gonna need a magic marker and a tape. Alright. Plus you're going to need, need a sander. Alright. So we're going to set some of this stuff aside. Um, now we're fixing to make the rain cap. That's what, what I call it anyway. What we're going to do. We're going to take this. We're going to sand it down. You can either use a sander like I got. Or you can. If you got a lathe. You can use a lathe to do it. Um, I'm not that fortunate to have a lathe, which I did. It would make it a lot easier. But we're going to sand this so that it will slide down into that tight. So you got to make sure it's tight. So um, I'm going to show you how I do it. We set this off to the side. Okay. All right, basically, this is going to make a mess, just going to grind this down. Alright, you get what I'm doing. So I'm gonna stop the clock and stop the the camera and go ahead and get this to where that it fits in there and then we'll start it back up. Alright. As you can see, I've got the thing down in there now. It took me about 30 minutes to get it done. Um I drilled some holes. 
Um, I took a small bit. Um, I had bigger holes on the first one, but it's just I didn't like how it how it um worked. So I went to smaller holes this time. Lined the holes are lined up with the rows of um where the net pots go. You're gonna need to drill a hole here big enough to slide your half inch PVC pipe. Um, you can go with a three quarter inch. Um, and then you're going to have to kind of wall it out a little bit so that the pipe will go down in there, but it will work. Okay, um, once we got that done, um, what we go to now is Okay, now this is the bucket lid that goes to that bucket over there, which is not a regular five gallon bucket. Um, it's actually 7.8 gallons, I do believe what it is. Um, so it's a bigger bucket, but if you, you can do it with a five gallon bucket. Um, now the last one I built, I centered it, um, but I come up with this idea of, um, of doing this. Putting it to the side, I'll show you how, how in a little bit why I did it that way. Um, there's a few things I have changed on building this one because um, as you build stuff, you make improvements on it. It's all about making improvements. Next one you build, you make better improvements on it. Um, so anyway, this is on, you're going to need to cut the exact size of the pipe. So that it will go, it will go on there tight. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, you want it tight on there. Um, so, all right. Now, once you get that done, um, there's a there's a few things that you'll need a tape measure and your bucket. Go. All right, once we have our bucket, what we're going to do, we're going to drill some holes in here. And what this is for, what you're going to do, this is going to sit right up against the edge of the bucket. But what you're going to have, once it's sitting at the edge of the bucket, right up against the side, you're gonna have a space up here. So what, earlier in the video, I showed that you're gonna need some, some bolts. Um, this is where the bolts come in to play. These are gonna be in here, and what that's gonna do is help support this thing to stand in this bucket. And you're gonna be able to adjust it in, in and out to help with the, um, with a level in it. So, um, and it's gonna be a lot more stationary than what the one I, I built. Um, but this is, I thought about it and thought about it. This is the only thing I could come up with um, to figure it out. So what you're gonna do is find out where your, um, let me take this out. What you're going to do is find out where you want your hose to be. So it's about 14 and a quarter up. So you're going to 14 and a quarter up. All right. Now what you're going to do is to get your hose to line up. What you're going to do is they're going to be in an angle. Okay. I have a sitting close to it, but they're going to be in an angle. So, once you get your hose drilled, you may 
have somebody hold it for you and then drill your holes straight into it together at the same time so um, so you can get that angle um, and once you get that done you're gonna need to get now this side that's facing the bucket you don't need to drill any holes here but you're gonna need to drill some holes here around here to for the water flow um, now the pump the half inch line is going to run down to here and the line is going to come in go in this hole here up to the um, half inch pipe um, and one reason too why I sit this up against the side so I can have room for the for the pump to set and not be in a bind like on the other one so the other one is kind of hard to keep the pump from turning so I made it that way all right um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and then come back um, with uh, this already attached and the pump in there and everything put together down here so you can see what it looks like all right all right we have down in here we've got the pump you can see the cut off valve can be reached and adjusted every which way the pump is setting flat down in the bucket it's got plenty of room um, now when you go to hook this thing up the way it's hooked in the back now you're gonna have to to um, put the lid on first okay put the lid on then put the put the put the boats sticking through the bucket so the, <laughs> just common sense um, the reason why I put it to the to the um off to the side is that I can take this off and I can turn it turn it Joel I can turn the lid and see I can get to the bucket do anything I need to and um and then just turn it back slide it back down click it in spec in into place and there you go um I've got the pipe running through up to my little um, thing where the water will run in. Um, fix to put some water in it and test it. So stay tuned. All right, we've got it running. You can see the water coming out, running down into the things raining down into the being perfect all the way down to the bottom yep there you go vertical raining tower it's how to build it I know the this third video I kind of rushed through it but you get the idea or the gist of it take it do exactly what I did or take it and make it your own improvise with it do some improvements maybe you might not have liked what I exactly did if you do any improvements or anything let me know send me a Send me some pics. I would love to see it. But thank you for, for watching it. Um, I hope it's been entertaining. And um, um, just helpful to you. So I will be planning this next couple of days. Um, I'm going to put it on my front porch, matter of fact. So, um... 
I believe I'm just going to take the plants out of the other one and put it in this one and do some work on the other one. Um, but anyway, this is Craig with Hydro with Ponix Haven. So you have a blessed day. Goodbye.